Hey, we're back for round six of the modern PTQ. Um, I guess that I wasn't paying attention and I moved my headset in a way that the audio was just awful. The recording of the audio was awful. So, sorry about that for last round. Um, you didn't get to hear me bumble through plays as clearly as I would like. But we're going to play a couple more rounds just because... If I'm going to play in another PTQ, I might as well get some other matchups under my belt. And, okay, I guess we're going to be playing against Jun. Yeah. Inquisition is fine. This hand's pretty slow, but we don't want to mulligan. Anyway. So I'm going to play a couple more rounds, or at least this one. If I lose this one, I'll probably just drop. And then try again tomorrow. Okay. So we got two Dark Confidants, a Tarmogoyf, and a Blood Braid. Not much I can do about that. The second chord was awful. I think I'm going to cut a chord and maybe a Viscera Seer. I might also try a bit more ambitious build tomorrow. We'll see though. Light green? No. Okay, that was unfortunate. Maybe I should have tried to draw. But yeah, I think I'm going to cut a cord and cut maybe one or two other cards. Each player discards a card, huh? Well, I'm fine with that. <laughs> the Liliana is probably going to go ultimate on us. If I don't just die to a Blood Braid Elf. But, um, I like the deck, it just feels, I guess, a little off. The chords are really hard to cast, I noticed. Even though they do give nice tutoring power. If I can get another land, I'll probably just sack the Finx for a red cap. Fine. Another confidant and the Finx. Well, it'd be nice to go wall into something, but oops, can't cast it like that. Okay, that's game. Okay, we have paths, forge tender, I'd like 
some bit of discard against this deck. I think I'll probably bring in my pulse too. Let's go ahead and cut all the cords. Or should I go... And we'll cut all the cords because the pods give me a better chance at comboing. The thought seizes versus inquisitions. Hmm. I'm thinking about cutting one inquisition for the thought seize. We'll run with it though. Play first. This hand is keepable. Inks is about the best tool that I have against Jund, I think. Okay, confidants. And we drew a pod. Um, I think I get Viscerous Seer birds. And black, black. Let's give Viscerity a birds and a throne. Yeah. Mm, should I get a forge tender maybe? No, birds are better. We we'll need some mana. Are we just going to see a Liliana here? Nope, thanks. Well, I guess my Viscera Seer will be leaving us. So that means... Nope. Got it. Okay, there we go. Hmm. So that means that he has a bolt if he... Okay. Or I guess a terminate could also be possible. The Bane Slayer?
Okay, land. This means that I'll go for... I can go for Sun Titan two ways, through the Rebel Arc or through this. I need to think about the Wall of Roots though, because if I'm going to go for the Rebel Arc into Sun Titan play, and then I might as well... Okay. That's interesting. He doesn't know I have another pod. Okay, now my wall of roots is huh. cute. Okay, the Liliana really doesn't do anything. And now I gain infinite life. Okay, so we go play that. That was definitely not what I wanted to press. Thanks for having that stop set. Um, okay. Sack this guy. Get Malira. And then, good. Oh. Well, the birthing pod seemed fine, so. Um, we'll swap for Thoughtseize and a cord because he has Inquisitions. And then let me think is there anything to see here? We have all of our um, graveyard recursion in. I could play the Tide Hollow. Mm, let's go with this. I think I need to mull this because Inquisition will just ruin me. Okay, that's better. So I'll probably lose my Sphinx here. But he could take the Pride Mage, I guess. If he thinks that the damage, or if he has like a, a Bob.
Unfortunately, I have Liliana to worry about. Otherwise, the run would just be what I need to win the game. I guess I should have brought in my Shriek Maul because of the Tarmos. Get a green white. The spell sky will be good though. Okay. We're gonna lose something good here. Probably thrown, right? Or pod. Okay, thrown. Wow, that was his only land. Well, that makes my path look a lot worse. Okay, so confidants. I'm going to have to... The beginning of your upkeep reveal. I think that it's smart just to go ahead and kill the confidant. Now if I can play Birthing Pod next turn, I'll get an Eternal Witness. This will provoke something, right? Yeah, terminate. Oh, that was really bad. Okay, I can't deal with Liliana, so... Ah... <sighs> That was really bad though with the Visser Seer. One scry would have been so good right now. Huh, weird. Okay, so that's fine. His blood break will be annoying, but we can deal with it. And I'll happily take three, two, Birthing pod next turn. Hmm, let me think. That actually might be a bad idea because that means I'd be taking seven. And he still has 
a maelstrom pulse in his hand that I know about. Okay, we'll probably just what see a treetop attack here, or maybe okay, yeah. Although I think that was a mishap, I would have used the Twilight Mire. Oh, the Tarmo. Ugh. Okay. My goal is to use the bird, a bird as a chump, or to at least deny him attacking with the uh, the treetop. If I can get rid of the pulse, I still have Revelark in my deck that I can go get with the red cap and then the next turn I'll win if I can live that long. Okay, so we might have twin uh twin treetops coming down this turn, and that'll leave him with a pulse in his hand. Or he might Pulse and we just attack with one tree top. Okay. So the pulse is gone. Red cap. Can't kill them both. So let's see. This would kill the Finks, leaving me with a red cap. I go to four to get a Bane Slayer Angel. And next turn he can attack me with a Tarmo and two treetops. Um, if I get a lark, I think I get a lark. I do this, get a lark, the lark dies. I have to block with the, the forge tender too, I think, because... I need to at least have life to activate the pod. Hmm. But then will I have enough life? Take five.
I guess I need to uh, hit a land or a path or a Sphinx. I think this would be an alright spot. Six. Okay, this drops me into five. And then if he just attacks with that next turn. Take three. Kill the treetop. Okay, we'll try this. I think that was a mistake. I think I should have just went ahead, went to three, and eight. No. I'm too far behind. Done in by a Tarmo. Maybe it would have been smarter to leave Confidant alive. And just make him draw his land. I mean, he could still see me with a path, but that wouldn't do anything. Ugh, blood braid. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so what did I learn? <sighs> I think my sideboard is probably a couple cards off. The I'm not a big on the scholar. Um, Maybe path should be a different removal spell. Which would be like one smother or one go for the throat or something like that. Then in the main I think I'll cut one quarter following, maybe maybe two. Um also the canonist seems to not be that great in this meta. So it could probably be in the side and another piece of cake could be in the main. I don't know, we'll see.